I watch out for the headbutt, low blow and back of the head. You both know the rules. Five 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 clean, touch if you want, and back your corner. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the pleasure of covering a super leg fight before he goes up against Rod Tang on September 22nd. 1FC has given me this footage, this fight, for us to watch and get excited about this upcoming super Muay Thai fight, which is just going to be so intriguing to watch. Williams on the right has already fought Rod Tang, and while he lost, he did a pretty good job, I thought. It'll be interesting to see how he fares against Superlek. The two guys here are obviously facing off in a kickboxing bout because they have the boxing gloves on as opposed to the MMA gloves. Muay Thai in 1FC has four ounce gloves, changes the entire fight. Not allowed to catch in kickboxing. So Williams taking a warning there for trapping that leg off the front kick. And I feel like the best bet Williams will have in this contest without the elbows being able to get tossed out there from Superlek, it's such a strength of his, he's gonna have to box. He's really gonna have to put combinations together and put forwards pressure, I would think. And I know that's what Rod Tang is gonna be trying to do. Let's see if William, Williams here can have any success, any measure of success doing just solid boxing against Superlek. Superlek still fighting like a Muay Thai fighter. Hasn't changed his style up dramatically, except again, he's not throwing those elbows or clenching the same way that he normally would. Just an off balance there. It'll be impressive if Superlek can remember when the kicks get thrown at him not to catch. Because you have to imagine at this point it's almost ingrained into his fight DNA. If he's able to avoid catching, that just shows how intelligent he is, how calm he is in there. A nice little counter there. Midway through those punches from Williams, Superlek able to see it, get his head off the center line. He's using very nice front kicks to maintain the range and good evasion on those low kicks. The one thing he will face from Rod Tang, which he's not getting right now, is pressure. It was the first bit of pressure, but he just evaded very well. I don't know if Rod Tang will stop that quick. Superlek is a phenomenal Muay Thai fighter. Just watched one of his bouts the other day, and that elbow, especially his right elbow, he just hucks it in and just cuts people up so effortlessly. Williams just seems a little hesitant to go in and engage. And once again, it looks like Superlek is the larger fighter. I covered one of his bouts the other day, and he looked a little bit bigger. I think it was Kalilov that he fought. And it's surprising because normally Muay Thai fighters don't cut a lot of weight and they are the smaller fighters in the ring or the cage, but Superlek looks like maybe 135 for him is a bit of a weight cut because he looks like the larger guy. His legs just got simply crossed up there, even though the shot landed. It was not a damaging blow. Williams is going to have to bring some solid pressure now because that first round definitely did not go his way. Even though he didn't take any massive punishment, it definitely was not a win for him. Round number two. And here we go. Good start right away in. See, everybody who seems to fight Superlek seems a little hesitant to give him a lot of pressure. And he's probably just that good. But 
like I said, it'll be very intriguing to see what kind of pressure or how the pressure of Rod Tang is handled by him. He has so many fights that I don't imagine him being overwhelmed in any sense by it, but it will be intriguing. Whenever you see super like hitting pads, it's just so many power repeated round kicks, just like that. just flows into them so well. And even Williams is having trouble getting his cross block, or some people call it the X block. He's having trouble getting that off, which is surprising because it's not a hard block to engage. He has to get by those front kicks now because Superlek is now using them defensively and it's becoming very difficult. Very difficult for Williams to get any forwards pressure. Looks like that knee stunned him a little bit. Ooh, that head kick there, just toes off the cranium. Superlek just now picking away. Seems like everything he throws, he's getting some sort of connection. Big knee up the middle there. He's doing a very good job adapting to kickboxing rules because they've taken away a lot of his weapons. Especially under 1FC kickboxing rules where there's no catching allowed of kicks. You used to have a catch, a couple seconds, and then you could throw something back, but you can't do that. Good counter there from Williams. Super like also landed something of his own. Really solid technique from Superlek, but like I said before, also just power and size seem to go his way right now as well. He is just not intimidated whatsoever by Williams' power. And Williams is somebody who hits hard too for this weight class. I've seen him in other fights against other opponents. He looks like he's a force. I think that just demonstrates how solid Superlek is. There's the end of round two. I think defensively, if I was going to give any edge to Superlek over Rod Tang, it would be in the defensive area. I feel like he's the stronger fighter in terms of avoiding damage. Rod Tang is just so tough that he can walk through and take punishment, but that's not something you want to do with every opponent. This was a really nice sequence here. Good pressure. Williams just running around the ring trying to get free. You can kick, go high and low. Go for more, go, go more for the kick. So I believe this would be a five round fight because it's for the championship belt. So we're not quite into those championship rounds yet. But here we go with number three. One of the big elements of a fight is getting respect from your opponent. If they don't feel like you can hurt them or they can hurt you, there's gonna be no respect. And I feel like that's something Williams really has to do now. He has to hit Super like once or twice hard, just to let him know, yeah, I'm here, and you've got to be cautious of me. A right high kick, so tricky. He doesn't telegraph. He can throw it in from many different angles or distances. Super like using that jab quite a bit in the last round. Now really pumping it out there. Good distance control on top of that front kick which he's using to stop Williams. It's very difficult to get close enough now. Ooh, that step through knee. He's bringing out the knees now. He's doing a good job of not actually grabbing 
He's placing his hands up high to be defensive, but not actually grabbing and pulling Williams in, so it is legal. If you grab and pull, it is illegal under kickboxing rules. Oh! I don't know if he's getting up from that. He did get up. Is he focused? Yeah, he is. Wow. Hands are going to have to stay high. He leaned into that one. Danger. Oh. Yeah, he is done. We're going to have to get a replay of that. I think he leaned into the high kick while throwing a cross. And his left hand was not high enough. But I'm going to have to get slow motion to confirm that. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, it was almost a knee. He went so low that that knee almost, I think, caught him. That's why when you go to throw a punch and you lean over, you've got to have that hand up. Anytime your head goes off the center line in any fight sport with kicks, head off the center line, one hand to your head, whichever direction you're leaning. Superlek just finishing that. I never really before thought of him as a big finisher, but I didn't know that much about him, I guess. And the more I watch him in 1FC, the more I realize how dangerous this guy is. So September 22nd, he's going to be facing Rod Tang in a Muay Thai super fight. Make sure you tune in and catch that. It's going to be spectacular. I will be watching and I will cover it on the channel once it's done. This match was presented to you by Toomey. And now to present the belt for this match, we have the chairman and CEO of One Championship, Mr. Chatri Sityotong. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Olivier Cost, has called a stop to this contest after one minute and 55 seconds in the third round for your winner by way of knockout and still undisputed one flyweight kickboxing champion of the world, Super Lab.